How do I know if the starter solenoid is bad? Hello, car enthusiasts and DIY mechanics. Today, we're going to talk about a common car problem, a bad starter solenoid. This little component plays a crucial role in starting your vehicle, and knowing the signs of a failing solenoid can save you from a major breakdown. So, let's dive in and find out how to diagnose a bad starter solenoid. What is a starter solenoid? A starter solenoid is an electric switch that helps your car's engine to start running. It's the middleman between the car's battery and the starter motor, transmitting power when you turn the ignition key. If it's faulty, your vehicle will have a tough time starting, or it might not start at all. So, it's important to know the signs of a bad solenoid. What are the symptoms of a bad starter solenoid? Typically, a bad starter solenoid will produce a few key symptoms. 1. Engine doesn't crank or start. If turning the key only results in a clicking sound and the engine does not crank, it could indicate a bad solenoid. 2. Intermittent issues starting the vehicle. A failing solenoid may sometimes work properly and sometimes not, leading to intermittent starting problems. 3. Starter is stuck on. A faulty solenoid can sometimes create an electrical short, causing the starter to remain engaged even after you release the key. 4. No clicking sound. When the solenoid is healthy, you'll typically hear a clicking sound when you turn the key. A lack of this sound could indicate a bad solenoid. How to test a starter solenoid? Step 1. Safety first. Before you begin, ensure your car is parked on a flat surface, your parking brake is engaged, and you're wearing safety glasses and gloves. Step 2. Locate the solenoid. The solenoid is usually attached to the top of the starter. Refer to your car's manual if you're having trouble locating it. Step 3. Test with a multimeter. Set your multimeter to the DC volt setting. Connect the red lead of your multimeter to the positive terminal of the solenoid and the black lead to a good ground. Ask a friend to turn the ignition key as if to start the car. If the reading shows no voltage, your solenoid might be bad. Step 4. Test with a test light. Another way to test is using a test light. Connect one end to the small control wire on the solenoid and the other end to a good ground. Have a friend turn the ignition key. If the test light doesn't light up, it indicates a bad solenoid. And there you have it. Now you know how to diagnose a bad starter solenoid and can take steps to resolve it. Remember, it's always a good idea to get a professional opinion if you're unsure about anything. Stay safe, and happy driving!